Hey everybody out there, how's it going today? Just doing a uh, quick check in with you. Smoking his pipe again with some tobacco. You see what that is? All right, guess what it is? Besides tobacco. Very good, you guys are spot on. Luxury Twist Flake. So I went by a shop the other day and picked some of that up, which is kind of a little bit of an interesting story finding it. So uh, when I smell this, it's got a very nice smell to it. I'm almost getting like, if I were trying to describe it, I would say a fruity smell. The smell really reminds me of the plum cake smell for some reason. I don't know why. I need to get it out and smell them, you know, kind of side by side. And then make me smoke them side by side. I know they're totally different blends. But uh, I smoked a bowl of this in a cob the other day. And I wasn't that impressed with it. Now I'm smoking it in his pipe. Uh, seems to be a little bit better. I need to give it a couple more bowls and see if it changes any. But I picked up the, uh, the Luxury Bullseye. I picked up the uh, Luxury Navy Flake. Now the Luxury uh, Twist. And out of those three, so far my favorite is the Bullseye. I'm liking it the best. With probably the Navy Flake second and then this one coming in third in all of those. So if I were to narrow it down to buy just one, it would be the Bullseye. So, and again, I'll keep trying them all in, uh, in different uh, pipes, different cobs, see how I like them, but I think I'm gonna narrow it down to the Bullseye so far. The tobacco store I went to, oh, a couple weeks ago, uh, <clears throat> that I told you where I got the bullseye and the navy flake, they had the twist there, but I did not get this from there. I found another spot. I was running out running some errands, and I knew there was a cigar shop about a half a mile from where I was going to be, so I gave them a call on the phone. I said, hey, you guys carry pipe tobacco? The lady says, yeah, we carry pipe tobacco. I said, okay, I'll come by and take a look. So I went by a little bit later. They had six or seven bulk aromatic blends, and that was it. So when I walk in, you know, I look at the uh, look at the jars, and they all had you know names on them. I said, judging by the names on these, I'm guessing they're all aromatics. She says, "Okay, I'll take your word for it." She didn't know what aromatics were. Now, I am a brand new pipe smoker. Everybody knows that if you've been watching my channel for any length of time. And this lady works there. And this this locate or this uh, cigar shop has three different locations. I said, well, do any of your other locations uh, have a bigger selection or anything? She says, well, the location on, don't go to whatever, XYZ location because they don't carry any and the location over here on this side of town, they carry the same thing we do. So she's at least worked at all these locations. Maybe she, I don't know, maybe they just call her in when they need her. So, you know, I guess I can't fault her too much, but, uh, and I'm not, I'm by no means saying, hey, I know everything there is to know about uh, pipe tobacco or cigars or any of that. But she says, you might try um, this other location gave me the name of another shop that I'd never even heard of. And she says, I think I've been told they carry a pretty good selection of tobacco, of pipe tobacco. She says, but you can't buy your cigars from there. You have to come back and buy them from us. Okay, I'll go look. I'm getting about to the end of this bowl. I've had it going for a little while. And so I go by there and look. And they probably had 20 to 25 uh, 
jars of tobacco, no tins. It's really, a, I'm having a hard time finding anybody locally to carry any tins of, I mean, I found one place that had a few tins, but that's about it. And so they did have some of the uh, twists, and so I picked some of it up, and that's what I got in here now. And I did rub this out uh, before I started. And so as you see, the sun is coming out. And I'm sprinkling on me. And in the distance, there's lightning and thunder going on. Yesterday, it was, if it didn't make it to the 80s, it got very close. Well, I know at one point we were at least 78 degrees when I checked. And that wouldn't surprise me if it made it all the way up in the 80s. Now we're down into the mid-50s. Again, cool, overcast, raining. Mid-50s is not... It's getting really bright over there. Mid-50s is not incredibly cool. But I guess going from nice, sunshiny 80 to overcast, damp, it just seems a lot colder today. Went to my nephew's... Uh, t-ball game last night so that was kind of fun watching these four and five year olds out there playing t-ball they're supposed to have another game tonight uh if it doesn't get rained out uh we'll go to it so those are as i mentioned a while back those are always fun to watch i like those guys watching the little tykes get out there and play and you know they'll hit the ball off the team and you know if they got whatever, 15 kids on a team, they're all 15 in the outfield because they all play. And then they all 15 bat. And then they change. And all 15 bat and all 15 are in the outfield. And they hit the ball and you watch all 15 run to tackle the ball. And so the coaches can typically keep one guy on first base. Then they grab the ball and it's like, I got the ball. What do I do with it now? <laughs> Throw it to the coach. Don't throw it to first base, so it's it's pretty fun to watch. And so, anyway, that's about it, guys. I was just checking in. That was a quick seven-minute check-in, so I'll let y'all go. Um, thanks for hanging with me. I appreciate it. If you like my video, subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and uh, I'll catch y'all next time. Appreciate it.